All right, Evan. I'll be your therapist for these next sessions. Could you maybe just call me Wallace? All right then, Wallace. So what brought you here? I think the better question is why did I bring you here? Well, the district court requires you to go through a counseling program, and it just so happens you are my patient. But this isn't real, you know. It's all in my head. Okay, then. I'm not crazy, okay? I could literally just leave right now and make you disappear. Then why stay here? Because... I need help. Well, that's what I'm here for. Tell me, what's on your mind? A lot of things, really. I wish I could still see her. The girl you... Murdered? Yeah. We're gonna miss you too. Yeah, but it's time we moved on. We'll still show up every once in a while. Think of it like Misty and Brock in Pokemon. Except they played bigger, more important roles than we ever did. Don't blame me! It's not my fault Wallace didn't pay you guys enough. Speaking of which, how's he doing? Well, he hasn't been talking and he's been avoiding everyone. So I'd say normal. It doesn't get easier to accept it. You know, you'd think, you know, the classic time heals any wound, but here I am, still hurting after how long? I just, I just really miss her, you know? I just want to tell her, you know, how much she means to me still and how much I care, but can't really do that when she's dead. The best thing you could really do is just cut her out of your life. I wish it was that easy, but I can't. And why is that? Because Ruby is a constant reminder of what happened that night. She's literally a representation of that girl now. Like, the cleaver in her head just brings me back to that night, and I can't do anything about it, because I live with her, and I try to avoid her as much as I can, but whenever I see her, I can't keep my eyes off her, because... She's all that remains of... her. Well, can't you just make her disappear? I wish it worked that way, but it doesn't. Look, it takes too long to explain, so can I just explain it some other time? Well, let's take a step back for just a moment. You said you created this world where these people live in. Yeah, uh, I drew it on pencil and paper, so that's why it's black and white. So, uh, what are you guys gonna do with that corner? Apparently Wallace is hiring a bunch of builders to fix it up, saying he got a great deal on it. Say, how's preparing for next season going? All around pretty good. We're still getting some things, but it's been really nice just having a few months to ourselves. Well, we better get going. But it's been an honor to work with you guys for this past season, and we wish you the best of luck for what the future has to hold. Same here! We're excited for where you guys will go! See you around! Bye! Bye. Have you ever tried to talk to them about the whole situation? You've acted pretty cold towards them from what you've told me. I just can't bring myself to do it. I just tell them I'm their landlord, so it makes some sense, but even then, they're asking more and more questions about the door, this world, me... I just, I don't know what to do. Why not try and hang out with them more? They're all you've got from what you've been saying. Even if it hurts you to look at that ruby girl, you said your creations become their own people. So maybe she and the girl she's based off of are two completely different people. I just... I don't know. Well, you've got some time to think about it. But that's all the time we have for today's session. Thank you. Um... What's your name exactly? Just call me Noir. So, you're African American? Okay, that's enough for today. Well, this marks the beginning of a new chapter. They really born in all that many videos. Snowy! Hey, I just got a text from Wallace. Well, looks like season two has officially begun. Hooray! Yo, I'm so excited. 